Okay, so we have less than 48 hours before we go to Europe. It is almost 12.30 a.m., so I am up entirely too late for knowing that I'm going to probably not get very much sleep on Wednesday. Today's a Monday, so I have tomorrow night. Hopefully that'll be a little bit better. Um, but there's just so much to get done before we leave, so... Um, I was packing my kids suitcases tonight, I was doing laundry, um, some things for work, and then I was also getting my personal item bag ready to go. I'm excited to, I, I might do another video or I might tack it on here um, to show you what's in there. I have to confess I am not the lightest packer. so. I'm not trying to necessarily say that this is how you need to pack, but maybe there are some items in there that would be helpful for you too for your next long haul flight. So the countdown is on. We are like 36 hours away from our flight departing and I should be going to sleep, but I'm actually gonna do a quick French lesson on the computer and then I'm gonna go to bed. All right, so we have less than 24 hours before we leave. It is 9.30 on a Tuesday evening and we leave tomorrow. Um, I think our flight leaves around like 6 p.m. So kind of in like the home stretch situation here. As you can see, I have a bunch of clothes. I'm trying to pack myself. I've packed the kids. Um, I packed up like all of the like medical stuff. Like we're bringing, you know, just like some ibuprofen and like band-aids. And I, I know they have those things there, um, but it just makes me feel better to have a backup in our carry-on just in case any flights get delayed or anything like that. So that's taken care of. Um, and now it's just down to me getting myself packed, which is always a challenge because I am not a light packer and I'm really trying to learn how to pack smarter. Um, so we'll see if I can achieve that or not. I really wanna do uh, a video about what's in my personal bag for the flight, for a long haul flight. Um, I'll give you like a little, a little teaser here. I put together this motion sickness kit. I used to get motion sick when I was a kid and I don't really anymore on planes, at least not on shorter flights, but hopefully this sound here isn't too obnoxious. Um, but anyway, so this is the motion sickness kit. It's got ginger chews from the ginger people. It's got ginger mints from Trader Joe's. Um, it has a little bit of peppermint oil. It has C-bands, you know, that you wear around your wrist in case you're feeling nauseous. Um, two other things, little travel size thing of Dramamine for kids. And I don't know what you would call this. We got this, I wanna say we got this in Savannah, um, but you open it up, it almost reminds me of like a little Vicks inhaler. And they had different scents for different things. This is called, travel ease so it's specifically made for motion sickness um i'm trying to see if i can figure out a brand but i can't read it at the bottom because it's kind of um been rubbed off but anyway it's cute and small um so yeah that's one of the things that's one of the things that is in my my um, personal item bag. I would be really curious to know if you have any must have items for long haul flights that you throw in your personal items. So um, feel free to drop that in the comments. And for now, I'm just gonna keep on packing. I'm gonna try my best to stick to two pairs of pants. So I got my black, black jeans and I got these jeans there. Um, like a darker wash because the only jeans that I had were not a darker wash and apparently in Paris that is what they wear so um, I'm not so concerned what people think of me but more so like I just don't want to stick out like a tourist um, I've heard lots of stories about people getting targeted kind of scammed um, so just trying to avoid that and I'm going to bring I think one pair of shorts these are my nice little they're like linen J. Crew shorts. They're super comfy. So I'm gonna pack those. And then if I can dig out of all this stuff here, my travel 
don't judge me on my pile of clothes. Like I said, I have so much decluttering that needs to happen. So this is my travel day outfit. It is a long black romper. I'm gonna be wearing this. And then I'm going to be bringing, here it is, my cardigan. It's a nice like lightweight cardigan. Lightweight cardigan. I feel like I need to move this back so you can see more and not just like my head chopped off. It's kind of weird. Here's my lightweight, lightweight cardigan. I thought about bringing a scarf, but I think this is gonna do the trick. I don't think I need to bring a scarf too. I don't honestly wear them a lot. So I think I'm gonna bring a few, um, but yeah. Okay, so this is going back in my personal item and the packing continues. So what I've done and I would suggest doing is if you're trying to be strategic about your packing, um, fashion wise, outfit wise, uh, I have a uh, note here that just has like all the outfits that I thought of and all of the clothes that I would need to bring to make those outfits. So that is what I'm going to be doing right now. Um, other thing I'm going to try out on this trip, it's called a cranio cradle. I don't know if anybody else has like neck problems. That looks very bright. Um, but I do. <laughs> and it is like this thing that you just like put behind your neck and it will, um, kind of give like light traction. So I tried that out today. Really, really like that. So. I'm excited. It's really small too, um, which makes it easy to bring along. Okay, so this is the day of our Europe trip. We are gonna leave for the airport in about like an hour and a half. So I have one bag left to pack. I don't know if you can actually see that. I feel like my tripod situation isn't working out very well, but speaking of what you can see, if you see a bunch of wine and like, alcohol behind me, I promise I don't normally keep that in my bedroom. We're getting the floors redone while we're gone. So we had to bring like all of the kitchen stuff, like anything that was sitting out on shelves. We have a wine rack. So we had to pull everything out of there um, just so it's not covered in dust whenever we come back. So just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, but I have one bag left to pack and then we will be on the road to the airport. I really wanted to go through what's in my travel or my um, personal item. I feel like I went a little overboard. I'm gonna try to pick this up. It is so heavy. I'm so glad that, <laughs> my gosh. I'm so glad that uh, I have a suitcase to plop it down on top of so I can kind of roll it around. And I'm hoping they let me call this a personal item um, because it's kind of, overflowing. There's actually a zipper and I'm a little nervous because I want to zip it up on the, uh, at least our first flight because we're sitting in the first row. So we're not going to have a seat in front of us to stow it. So it's going to have to go overhead. Um, so I'm a little nervous about things like moving all over the place. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, maybe I can show what's in here when we get there. I feel like I spent a lot of time packing it and I just didn't have very good strategy in terms of like showing what's actually in there. I probably should have left it all out and then put it in as I kind of told you what's in here. Um, but yeah, I also have in here my handy itinerary. I printed it out today. I think it's like nine pages. So yeah, <laughs> a little bit of a problem. Definitely type A when it comes to travel. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna finish packing here and then we're gonna head to the airport. I feel like I need to be a little bit strategic. Oh, same thing with the books. I know I mentioned um, all the like wine and stuff, but same thing with the books and the stuff everywhere. I mean, like sometimes it does get a little messy in here, but usually not next level, like things stacked on things, on dressers like they are right now. Okay. Let's see, and I have my little, I have my little checklist here to make sure that my kids have everything they need in their 
um, personal items. I think I have everything. The only thing that's missing, and I don't even know if this is like relevant to use anymore because I think the airlines can track your bags now. Um, as I have this like air tag thing that I was gonna put in my suitcase and I don't know where that is. So that might get left behind. All right, let's see what I can do with this mess right now. I have to figure out if I'm gonna be able to fit all these shoes in. Right now I have one, two, one, two, three, four, four pairs of shoes. Not sure if that's gonna fit. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna start by taking everything out. Then we'll get it back in there. Activated charcoal, really good for stomach viruses and food poisoning or any other sort of weird stomach situation you might encounter when traveling. I also got these laundry sheets. They are like this, it's like paper. They're super thin and you just put them in the wash like regular detergent. And I got these cause I don't like all the added stuff. So it's like free of all the bad things. Fragrance free too. So I'm excited to give these a try. This is that cranio cradle thing I was talking about that you put at the base of your skull for traction. So I like that that's so compact. This is a little, you guys are gonna think I'm so random. This is a little art artist board. You like fill it with water. It's called like a Zen board. And it has a little, um, little like paintbrush in here and then you fill it up with water. I feel like, yeah, it just like stays like that. And then you can just paint. It's kind of relaxing. My kids like to do it. So I feel like we've had to be really selective about what we're bringing to entertain them. Um, like while we're there because uh, we don't have a lot of space. This is like the tiniest blow dryer I've ever seen. It is dual voltage, which I've heard is important when you're traveling to Europe. So I don't know. I'm just going based on what I am reading and what I am learning. So I think I'm gonna start with the packing cubes. So I have two cubes of clothes stuff here. I'm just gonna throw those in. And then this is some audio visual stuff. I don't generally like to check that, but honestly it's not, there's not really much in there um, because I'm not bringing a lot of AV stuff for this trip. This is like toiletry stuff, my toothbrush, some more AV stuff. This is like a little thing to clamp your, um, you can like clamp it on like a tree or a balcony and then you attach your camera here. And then you can get some good pictures. I'm thinking that will be good in Paris because we have a terrace. Maybe we can, depending on which way we're facing, we can get some good sunrises or sunsets. feel like, hmm, maybe I did. I have a tinted moisturizer that I meant to pack in this little bag. Yes, I did. Okay, so this is like my little toiletry bag for my personal item. I have a little towel to like wipe our faces. Um, I have toothpaste, I have toothbrushes, I have under eye cream, face oil, some sunscreen, face wash, and tinted moisturizer, so have a lot of stuff in here. I'm really hoping that security doesn't give me a hard time with any of my random things that I have in there. But everything is less than, I think it's less than three ounces. It might even be less than that. I made sure to not go crazy with the liquids. Bringing some ibuprofen just in case, because I feel like kids always get sick when you travel. This is my adapter. Um, is it just one? Yeah, I think it's just one. It also has some USB ports on there too. So that's, that's interesting. Moving right along. This is my rain jacket because in London, I've heard it rains a lot. And this is a wet bag that will be for my kids' clothes, like dirty clothes to go in. 
These are those lovely laundry strips. I kind of want to put them under something, so I'm going to take this back out. Okay. And then I've got, for the flight back, my kids love Mentos, and we always end up paying so much for them at the airport, so I just bought Mentos at the store. So we have them for the flight back. My dream, which is not gonna happen, was to leave one side of the suitcase completely empty. That way any like shopping or like extra stuff we got, we could easily bring back. Um, but that's not gonna work. <laughs> There's just not gonna be enough space. Okay, sorry for the noise. My kids are just getting their last bursts of energy out before we leave. These are some new Toms that I got. They're super cute, but they're so tight. Like, and I know Toms can be tight at first sometimes, but these are extra tight. Um, so, I don't know. Like once they're on, they're okay. But oh my goodness, uh, to get them on my foot. Ouch, done. <laughs> it is not an easy feat. So, <laughs> easy feat. Um, so yeah. No, they're fine. They're okay. I think they're cute. I just, I'm gonna pack them. I'm doing it. This is kind of a random thing that you might not think to bring, but I brought like a little dish towel and some dish soap and a bottle brush uh, because we use reusable water bottles. And when we're in Airbnbs, it's probably fine. But in hotels, they rarely have, um, a good way to clean that. And if you're there for a few days, I feel like the water bottles start to get slimy and gross. So bring in this. All right, so I think that this bag is complete. This is exciting. I don't wanna close it just yet because I feel like when I do that, there's always like one last thing I have to, like I remember I'd have to go get and open it all back up. So I'm gonna leave it open. Um, and then my carry-on, oh, sorry for the noise. It's also good to go. I had some books and this, these are like all my French notes. I've been trying to relearn French. I knew a little bit of French and the more I take lessons, the more I feel like I know nothing. <laughs> um, okay, so the books are in. And then this is a little extra, but this is a Bose speaker that I like to bring anytime we go anywhere, mainly because I really get a lot of joy out of just sitting around and like listening to relaxing music, especially um, if it's feeling a little chaotic. So I always like to, I always like to bring that speaker. Up. All right. My last thing here is this big old bag. I think I'm gonna deconstruct it because. Um, yeah. Freestyle. This is like one of those things you put in your arm to do the blood glucose readings. And I think I'm just gonna keep this Motrin in my bag. My youngest gets really bad migraines. Um, so I feel like, so I feel like that's a good thing for us to have with us. Just, just in case, because for our last flight, Actually, I had a carry-on and they made us check it at the gate. So I'm nervous if I get separated from this carry-on, I just wanna make sure I have everything I need. All right, I'm feeling good about this. I feel like it's not, like sometimes it's like overflowing and I have to sit, I mean, I might still have to sit on the suitcase to close it because the size is a little puffy but for the most part, I think we're in good shape. Okay, uh, so that's it. And we are headed out in about, let's see, 35, 45 minutes. Um, so stay tuned. I cannot wait to share all of the details and ins and outs of our Europe trip with you. I hope that I, um, 
I'm able to get as much footage as I want to. I know some of the tours, like we're doing this um, evening uh, Tower of London tour, and I think it said no photography, and I'm not sure what the policies are, like uh, Westminster Abbey, I think it might be similar. So I'm just hoping that I can somehow um, capture some of these really cool places that we're gonna see, but I'm sure that we'll be able to figure something out, even if that's just um, getting the outside and kind of sharing details about the inside. So. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.